Hello, welcome to my house and welcome to my channel. I'm Laura Cepeda and today I'm going to show you how you can make this beautiful short mono. As you could see, it's very, very cute. Here I will show you how it looks uh, from behind. So this is the back, it looks amazing. It's perfect for this coming uh, season, for this summer. And also I think it's good for winter. You can put a top under, a turtleneck under and you will look cute too. I made this in a small size. So uh, remember that if you want to make it for your own, well, you have to take into account that you will need more material. And well, if you are new in my channel, first I will give you the material list and then the step-by-step. -step. I'm sure you will love to make this piece because it's so easy, more easy than you think. So let's start and enjoy the class with me. Well, for this small size mono, we are going to use 400 grams of a fine material. I'm going to use 1% cotton and a crochet hook of number three and a half. Remember that if you want to use the same materials that I use in all my videos, here I will leave all the information. Remember that if you want to buy and use the same materials that I use in all my videos, you can visit my online store www.lauracepeda.es. Well, with one thread and according to the size you are making this, we are going to make chains all around our uh, hips, okay? And we are going to make these chains loose. So it will be easier for us to crochet when we come back in the second row. Where we will continue like this until it goes all around our hips. Okay, like I'm going to make this for my knees, I made 130 chains. This is a small size, but I suggest that you make more chains in case the stitch is stretch. Okay, so I suggest that you make five more chains of the chains that we, you made. So for now, let's try that our chain is not twist, so we can close in circle. It's important that you take the time to fix this. So it will be easier for you when you crochet the second row. So please take your time to fix your chains. And once they are ready, we are going to slip one to close in circle. Look like this. So we are going to start from the hips to the bottom and then from the hips to the top. We are going to skip two and in the third we are going to start making double crochets of three crochets. Grab your yarn and in the same stitch we are going to make eight double crochets of three crochets. You will see. One, two, three, four, five, six, Siete. and eight and here is our first uh, shell look it has to look like this then we are going to skip two spaces one two and in the third we are going to make a single crochet again we are going to skip two and in the third we are going to make the shells and we are going to make the shell remember of a double crochets of three crochets and like this is how we are going to continue remember that between them we are going to leave two spaces so like this the whole row so at the end to close the row we are going to fix it we are not we are going to check that they are not twist and then we are going to slip one to close now we are going to continue with the second row so like I already checked that it's it is correct and it's not twist. Look, I'm going to slip one to close the row. Like this. Okay. So now to start the next row, we are going to slip until the middle of this first shell. Like this. You are going to slip one, two, 
three and four. Then chain two. And here in the single crochet, we are going to make a double crochet. And again, of the double crochet of three double crochets. But look here, I feel that it's too tight and I'm, and I'm pulling too much. So instead of two chains, we are going to make three chains. And then inside the single crochet, we are going to make the double crochet of three crochets. So now it looks better, right? So again, three chains and in the same uh, stitch, the double crochet of three crochet, three chains, and right here in the middle, single crochet. And here we have a V. Again, three chains, and we are going to make the V again. Here inside the single crochet, a double crochet of three crochet, then one, two, three chains, and in the same stitch, a double crochet of three crochet, then one, two, three chains, and in the middle, right in the top of the next shell, single crochet, and like this, the whole row. For now, I haven't decided if this is the top of the bottom of our mono, but first we are going to do this part, and if I fit, feel that it's too wide, well, I will leave it for the bottom part because remember that it has to be a little bit loose in that part and it's tight I will take this part for the top but I will tell you for now let's continue making this row and see you when I finish okay at the end of the row we are going to slip one to close I will show you it is important that you leave this thread because it will show you where you start and where you finish the row now here right in the middle of the next V without making chain or anything we are going to make a double crochet of three crochets inside we are going to make eight three, cuatro, cinco, seis, siete, y ocho. Prendemos en nuestro medio punto. And this is how we are going to continue the whole row. So at the end of this row, when we arrive here, we are going to slip until the middle of the shell and we are going to repeat the V row. And we are going to repeat this series until we get the long that we want. We will decide if we want this long for the bottom or for the top or for break, so we will decide. So for now I'm going to continue repeating this series and I will decide if for, from which part of the break is this, but I will tell you. So I decided this will be the bottom, so from the hip from here we have 15 rows and we will come down like this, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, and 50. I finish with the uh, rows of the bees. Okay, and now we will divide in half, and here I'm going to cut the thread because I need that this thread be in the middle. So here I'm just going to make a chain and pull. So now we will count. Here we have 5 shells and in the bottom we have 5 shells so it will be 10. And it is the same in the other side. 10 and 10 and here we have 2 and 2 so at the end we will have 22 shells. Here from here where is the marker that I count 5 and 5 and then the half and then 5 and 5. And here is where we are going to divide the legs but before we continue you have to Try on to see if you like the long of this short or you will need to make more rows. So once we have the rows that we want, we are going to put the thread here in the middle. And also it is important that we have all the shells in the same side, in the right side. Okay, so please check that all of them are in the same side. So now here we are going to put the thread. So here we are going to join both parts. So once again, 
I don't know why I'm strolling but we are going to take both parts to join and like my knees want this short and look a little bit longer so from here I'm going to make two or one row more but for now I'm going to make one row more and she will try on and from then I will see if I will make one row more so like here I finished with the beer rows and we have to continue repeating the series now I'm going to make the shell row remember that if you want to make more rows the rule on the clue is that you always finish with the shell rows and also here I want to reduce a little bit for the legs so instead of, of having three rows in between I mean three chains in between I will make two to reduce a little bit and the rest will be the same we will continue making the double crochet softer crochets and like this the whole row so when I finish when I arrive to the other side I will tell you how we are going to continue and we are going to crochet both legs apart so when I finish I will see you so look I just made one row and I crochet them apart and here in the middle I made some single crochets from here to here and I already try on in my knees and she is happy with this long but if you want you can make more rows well now that we finished with the bottom side I will show you how we are going to continue with the top okay so let's continue there I already finished the bottom part of my mono I remember that I decided to take this first part for this side but now we are going to start with the top part of this mono so I already measured it taking this size as a reference and I already measured it this part to my knees and I think I'm going to take each side for a shells so I am going to reduce so now let's start that's why here I have the thread because from here is where I'm going to start first I will make a mesh row a stitch in this side because I want to put a ribbon all around the waist so we will go up with four chains then a skip one and in the second insert your hook and we are going to make a double crochet then two chains grab your yarn and we are going to skip two and in the third a double crochet so once we are going to skip one and then we are going to skip two and like this we are going to make the whole row of mesh stitch so like in the last we skip one so now we are going to skip two and in the third we are going to insert our hook and then the next one we are going to skip just one remember once one uh, stitch to skip left and then one and like this the whole row and in between two chains and remember that we are making this all for all around of our waist look here i finished the row of mesh stitch and i have 56 squares now we are going to start making the shell stitch so like i'm i'm going to reduce four uh, shells and i had 22 i will have 18. so like we are making these 18 shells we have to arrange and fix it and tr try to put all of them in these spaces so this is how we are going to make so we are going to skip one mesh and in the next one we are going to make a shell remember of a double crochets of three crochets remember that this is according to the size I'm making but you should try and before you continue you will count the shells that you are going to reduce or maybe you are not going to leave any mesh in between but you will see and a so here single crochet so as you could see I used three meshes and three message so you have to arrange and to fix that you have 18 shells here well now we are going to continue remember repeating this series we will use the same stitch one row of bees and one row of shells until we have as these rows 
If this is your waist, well, you are going to measure from here until the arm hook to make the rows that you need. Or if you decided to make this from the waist, well, you are going to make it from the waist to the arm hook. And like this, we are going to continue repeating series. Remember one row of piece and one row of shells until we arrive to the arm hook. Remember that it's also important that you try on and not reduce too much because remember that this has to fit perfectly on you. Well, look, I made from the waist to the arm hole, one, two, three, four, and five rows, and I like it. Remember that this is just a reference. If you need to make more rows, well, make the rows that you need. So now look, to reduce a little bit more, in between I put two chains in between each shell. Remember that in the bottom part we made three chains in between, well now, from the waist to the top, we are going to make two chains in between to reduce a little bit more. Remember that we made these chains in the V rows. So once we have this, we are going to divide it in half like this and then the fourth part. And now we are going to take two pieces apart, once one side and then the other side and then the back. So in this part, we are going to reduce to create the V neck and to create the shell and the straps that we want and for example here I already get a head and I made this reduction and it's important that you check that you have the shells in the right, right side always and the B rows in the wrong side so it's important that you leave the shells in the right side I will show you how we are going to make this part, don't worry. But before we continue, here you have an option. You can leave it like that and just make some straps with some chains and we are going to make a final row here and just join with this part without uh, making more rows. Or you can make these two pieces here also in the back to have a v-neck in the back and in the front. So here, like I made the last row of bees, now I'm going to continue with the shell rows and we are going to leave it in the right side, remember. So with one thread and with our hook, we are going to make a knot here to start the next row. It is important that you here in between, we leave this space. So we are going to leave the same space that we leave in the front part, okay? It's important that you have everything in pairs. Remember that in the bottom side we have 22 and then we reduce to have 18. It's important because it will be easier for you to count and to reduce. So these four parts have to be the same, okay? I mean, must to be the same. So it's important that you have the same spaces, you make the same number of rows, and everything. So well here we are going to make four, one, two, three and four, the same number of shells that we made here and four. So for now I'm going to make the four shells and see you when I finish to make them to teach you how we are going to go up. Okay so for now we are just going to make this part and then we will continue with the rest. Well here I finished the four shells and now we are going to continue with the rest. Also, a, a very important tip, tip that I want to give you is that before you continue, you should check that you have, that you perfectly match this side, the half of our project, with the top. Okay, because if not, our mono will look twist. We will have the legs in one side and then the rest in the other side, so it will look weird. And so to have a regular side, also in this side, we are going to continue straight from one row more. So we will go up making the one more show of rows with four. As you could see, I did the same here. So go up with four chains. One, two, three, and four. Insert your hook in the same stitch and a double crochet of three crochet, then two chains and here in the top, single crochet, then two chains and then the V. 
And remember that here the double crochets are of two crochets. Then two chains and again a double crochet. We will continue and we will finish the row the same way that we started until here, okay? So here I start this new row the same way I finished with the last row and I go up with three chains and inside the V I made four double crochets because remember that we are going to start to reduce. And then we will continue making shells of eight double crochets and at the end of, the, of this row we are going to finish like we start making a shell of four and like this is how we are going to reduce. Well here I finished the row two shells of four and three shells of eight. Now we will turn around and we are going to start making the V row. So now we will turn around go up with the chains. Remember that since we start with this section we are making two chains in between and two, uh, we are making the double crochets of two chains to reduce this part a little bit too. So here in the V rows we are going to continue making them like this and we will have four these two and then we will come back making it the same row that we made before. Remember that in one row we are going to reduce and in the other one not. But I will show you how we are going to continue. So let's finish. So as you could see here I have the four shells that we made here. Remember that here we didn't reduce. So now here we are going to reduce. So I will show you how. I will turn around and we are going to slip until the middle of this first shell to teach you how we are going to start. So from here we are going to start the V rows. So now go up with two chains, a double crochet, then two chains and again a double crochet to make the Vs, two chains, insert your hook in the top of the next shell so at the end we will have three V's and we will finish here and then you will come back and making three complete shells but see you there so look let's recap here we have in each side a half shell then we have complete shell and then half shell each side so we reduce then no we reduce and then no we are going to continue making this Look in this side here, yes, no, yes, no, yes, no, and yes. So in not in all the rows I reduced, okay, so we will repeat what we made here. And at the end we will finish with one shell. But well, I will uh, leave this part like this so you could see and you, can you could count. So as you could see, we are here in this row. So now the next row we are going to make the three shells. Then we are going to make the V rows and then here we are going to reduce and then we are going to make three complete shells again. Then we are going to reduce and we are going to make two and then one complete and two and a half and then two complete and then we will finish with one. And we will make all these four sides like this, okay? At the end make a recap and count how many half shells you have in each row how many complete shells you made to have them all the same. Remember that I decided to make uh, the v-neck in the front and in the back but it's up to you remember that according to the design that you decide to make this project. Remember that I'm making this project for my niece so she doesn't have a, a big chest okay so please take that into account probably you will need to and make more rows with the same number of shells so don't reduce too much the same way I did so please try on and at the end you can put a cup here so your chest will look nicer or also maybe in this side you can put some fabric under of cotton and it will look good and it will be comfortable for you but remember that it's up to you this is just an idea and you can put also some fabric under your shirt so 
you you don't want to have anything to the imagination <laughs> okay but remember that it's up to you also you can use a uh, lick around or something so the important the most important thing is that you are comfortable well for now we will finish this part and then i will show you how we are going to make the last rows and the straps okay so let's continue and see you there look here I complete the front and the back part of my mono and here is where I finish this is the last part I made and I didn't cut the thread so I leave it there because from here I'm going to start the last row look and also I want to give you a tip if you feel that the v-neck it's good and it covers all that you want to cover you can put one row more with these and with shells if you feel it's correct like this you can put just a shell row for example if you want to make the V row with shells well you are going to calculate where you are going to insert your hook probably one here and then one here also do not reduce too much remember so please it, be careful where you insert your hook but like my niece want this like this and I already try on and she already like it so I will leave it like that and I'm just going to make a row of shells and here in the same stitch I'm going to make the eight double crochets taking one two and three of three crochets then six siete and eight also after this row you can make a v-row it's up to you if you like how it looks better finishing with the v-row you can make it but also it's important that you put your crochet not too tight not too close of one v from another because it would reduce but well in my case i'm going to continue making this stitch all around the back and the front all around here and here until I arrive here the same place where we finish if you want here you can put some bottoms and you will finish just like this but I suggest that you put a uh, little straps so I will show you how we are going to make it so you can adjust to the height that you want well look here finish also it is important that you have the same the same number of shells in each side here i have four so i here i have four two and one shell more at the top so it has to look like this so here when i was making this i made 50 chains and then i come back slipping 150 so i can have this round strap and i did the same in the other side but don't worry i will teach you how i made it okay here i leave this part so i can show you how okay but before we continue i want to tell you that here i made some stitches because my knees wanted to close this and the neckline a little bit but from having something like this i reduce until here and i made the same in the back part and also remember that in this side where we mail the mesh stitch well here I put a ribbon or you can make a strap the same way I'm making the straps right now and you can put it here or you can use a bell or something you will look amazing but well I will show you how I made the straps so with your hook I finished to make the 50 chains and then I came back to slipping one and you will have a round strap look so this is a tip that i gave you when you want to have a strap like this and you don't want to look flat well you can make it like this we are going to slip one in each of the chains that we made and we have to make the chains a little bit loose too so that's the secret so we will continue like this until we finish making the 50 chains remember that if we made 50 chains we must slip 50 times and with this we'll be finished and we don't going to iron okay we will leave it like that so let's see how it looks 
Well, so what do you think? I hope that you have enjoyed making this beautiful mono with me. I try to make it as easy as possible. So I hope that you like it and I hope that everything was clear. Remember that if you have any doubt, you can leave me your doubt here in the comments and as soon as I can read them, I will answer back, okay? Also, if you have an idea of something that you want me to make, I can try and you can send me this idea in uh, Laura Cepeda, no, sorry, uh, tejeamigas at gmail.com and then there I will receive all your ideas. Well, I hope that you make it. Please, if you make this uh, mono, uh, take a picture and tag me in my social media. I love to see you making my projects. This motivates me and keeps going. Thank you so much for taking the time and watching this video. I hope that you like it. It is amazing for this coming season and you will look amazing. But well, thank you so much for watching this video. Don't forget to subscribe to my Spanish channel too. And don't forget to follow me on my social media. Thank you so much and see you next Wednesday. I have a big surprise for you. Bye.